In this video we're going to have a look at drawing the top view, the front view and the left view in first angle orthographic projection of a hexagonal based pyramid. Now we know that pyramids, unlike our prisms, they have a base and those, that base then goes up to a point okay, which we can also call the apex of our pyramid and each of the sides, each of the corners they go up at an angle to meet up all at that same point this of course is a square based pyramid we're going to have a look at doing a hexagonal based pyramid instead but we can clearly see here that in the top view of any pyramid the apex is going to be in the center of the base of our pyramid for any regular pyramid us that apex will always be in the center of our base so the first thing we're going to have a look at here is finding the center of our hexagon and that's quite easy to do we're simply going to join the opposite sets of corners and we're going to do them as dark lines because we know that in the top view that is what we're going to see we're going to see the edges going up to the center point from each of the corners and of course where these lines meet is where we have our center point for our hexagonal based pyramid and now of course we are going to make sure that we number our pyramid as we've done with our other shapes and this one will be quite a bit easier because of course each of the points or each of the corners only represents one point uh, unlike our prism each of those only represent the corners of the base and then of course you've got all of those corners coming up to our apex and I'm going to use an A to label that the top point of our pyramid now we're going to of course go and draw a front view which we'll draw up here and our usual for that is to go and have a 10 millimeter gap between our top view and our front view before we draw an XY line in and we'll draw that XY line in and then of course for our other XY line that we'll use later also a 10 millimeter gap from the edge of our top view for that XY line to come in and then we're also going to draw in the 45 degree line so along with our 45 degree set square I'm going to draw that in nice and dark and that of course comes at the bottom right over here because in our first angle orthographic our front view will go there and our left view will go next to it here on the right hand side of our front view okay now to get our front view we're going to take each of the corners from our top view and we're going to project those corners up using construction lines and we'll take each of the corners as well as the apex and we project those up into where we want our front view to be Okay, now you can see those projection lines going up and then of course we're going to do a 10 millimeter gap again okay, away from our XY line and then we can draw in the baseline of our front view we know that that's going to be a dark line so we can draw that in so long because of course that represents the base of our pyramid and then of course the other thing we need is the height of our pyramid now the height of a pyramid is always measured from the center Okay, of the pyramid it's always measured from the center of the pyramid to the apex to the top that's called the perpendicular height of a pyramid you never ever measure at an angle like that for the height of a pyramid it's always from the center point of the base straight up so the perpendicular height of the pyramid that I'm going to draw here I'm going to make 70 millimeters it's going to be quite a flat pyramid okay but I've taken the height from the center point of that baseline all the way to the top over there okay that's my perpendicular height and then I can of course from that apex I'm now going to draw lines going down to each of my corners but to make sure that I've got all my corners I can project each of my numbers up that of course there will be corner 4 and remember now because we're looking at our front view from that direction we'll see corner 5 first here and then 3 behind it so we'll mark this over here as 5 comma 3 we list 5 first because we can see corner 5 in our front view first and then 3 same thing over here that will be 6 comma 2 because we can see corner 6 first in our front view 
Okay, looking from that direction, we can see corner 6 first and then 2, so that will be labeled as 6, 2. And then, of course, this over here on the side is corner 1, so we'll label that as 1. And then we've marked our apex at the top there, so we can label that as A. Now, of course, we're going to go and take point A, and you can see here in our top view that point A is joined to every single one of our corners. So we're going to take point A here, and we're going to join point A to every single one of our corners. So we'll take point A, and we'll join it to corner 4. We'll also join it to corner 5 and 3. We can do 2 at once then. We're also going to join it to corner 6 and 2. And we're going to join it to corner 1. And that then completes the front view of our pyramid. Note that there's no dark line in the middle here that stays as a construction line. Okay, you can clearly see it. There's no lines on these faces over here in our top view, so there'd be no dark line over there. Okay, and that completes our front view. Now to get to our left view, we do the same thing. As always, we're going to project each of the points from our top view across onto our 45 degree line. We project those across. And where they hit our 45 degree line, we're now going to project those up to where we would have our left view. Make sure that you're accurate with this. And then, of course, we're going to project the corners and the apex in our front view across into our left view. And now, if we follow our numbering, we can clearly, clearly see that there's point A. If we take that across and up, and we join it up with point A, from there, we can clearly see that's where point A will come together. So we can mark that corner and label it as A. And then you can see here, if you're looking from the left side, okay, for our left view, we're going to hit into point 1 and then into point 4. 1 first and then 4. And if we follow that line across and up from 1 and 4 here, we can see that that is where corner 1 and 4 is going to be. So we're going to label that as 1, 4. Same thing for 6 and 5. If we take that across and up, that corner there is going to be 6, 5. And then this 2 and 3, if we take that across and up, that of course is then going to be 2, 3. And then exactly the same as what we did with our front view. We're going, we can draw in our baseline there as our dark line. And then we know that we have to join our apex to each of the corners. So we're going to take A and we're going to join it to 6 and 5. We'll take A, we'll join it to 1 and 4. And then we'll take A and we will join that to 2 and 3. And there you have the left view of your pyramid.